Well, Donald. I do hope you'll reconsider to meet me on the debate stage. Because as the saying goes, if you've got something to say, say it to my face. The Harris rally was a massive success for her. She had a full house. Many media did a full 360 view of the room showing it was a packed house, something you do not see at modern Trump rallies. On top of that, she had over 100,000 people watching just on her official live stream on YouTube. Other platforms had so many thousands of people, live tweets everywhere, and at the same time, J.D. Vance was doing an event and got like 6K viewers. It was a massive success. It's going viral. Clips are everywhere. And the House Judiciary did try to respond. Kamala Harris is coming for your guns, your health care, and your freedom. This makes absolutely no sense in so many levels because uh, she's coming for your guns. What, the gun that was, you know, the style of gun that was used to shoot Donald Trump? That one? The one where the GOP wants you to really, really, really care that he got shot at, but also not care about school shootings, but also not want the laws changed to prevent future shootings. That's what they begin with. They say, your health care. Remember Project 2025. I want to show you that in a moment, just a little bit. But Project 2025 is completely going after women's health care in general. But how is she going for your health care? By not taking it away? It honestly makes no sense. And your freedom... What is this? MAGA loves to just say freedom, 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 patriot, patriot, patriot. What do you mean? Don't be weird. Don't be weird. Just tell us what freedom it is. You hear this all the time, even in the convoy groups. They took our freedom. What freedom? Tell us. List it out. It should be easy. Except it isn't. Because they didn't lose anything. They're worried about losing something. Oh, what evidence do they have they're going to lose a freedom? Again, there's nothing. But that health care. Let's take a quick peek at Project 2025. Just a cursory glance. Just a tiny little peek at one little page. Now, Project 2025 is anti-abortion to the point that they want to have a registry of pregnant women so they can track them down and prevent them from getting health care in any state. Now, remember, you can do that, but don't you dare register guns unless you are the Trump campaign making a registry of gun owners so you can send them pro-gun content and content fear-mongering about taking away guns, you know, like they sent to the family of the guy who shot Donald Trump. Don't talk about that, though. Let's talk about this little tiny bit of Project 2025. Just this small segment. Because liberal states have now become sanctuaries for abortion tourism, HHS should use every available tool, including the cutting of funds, to ensure that every state reports exactly how many abortions take place within its borders, at what gestational age of the child, and for what reason, the mother state of residence, and by what method. Why do they need that? because they want a registry of pregnant women to prevent them from crossing state lines and eventually, of course, outlaw abortion outright. They're very public about this, but they want some categories. It should also ensure that statistics are separated by category. Spontaneous miscarriage. So if you have a spontaneous natural miscarriage tragedy, they want to put you in a, in a federal database so that Republicans can look into you. Did it really happen that way? Maybe they'll show up and question you. Treatments that incidentally result in the death of a child, such as chemotherapy. Oh, did you have chemotherapy? Well, would you want to be on a federal registry so they can look into you and maybe go after you later? Maybe try to prevent that chemotherapy treatment altogether. You know, don't want you crossing state lines for that chemotherapy. Or stillbirths, because, you know, if you have a stillbirth, what you really need to do is be put on a federal registry so Republicans can, you know, start scrutinizing you. 
But remember, it's um somehow Kamala Harris coming for your health care. And mind you, that's just a couple sentences on page 455 of a document that uh, the document look at the bottom here says there's 920 total pages. There is a reason that Donald Trump is trying to call Project 2025 extremist and separate himself from it, except his own people are involved. And J.D. Vance is really, really tied into Project 2025, too. So the reason he doesn't want to debate. There's a reason he's doing bad in the polls. There's a reason that, especially in 2024, a female opponent might absolutely destroy him. Rovember might be coming.